everyone, I'm going to walk you through a few different aspects of the whiteboard application on our Surface Studio. So first I'm just going to have you guys locate the whiteboard app and go ahead and open it for me. So that can be found down here in the bottom, this little blue application down here in the taskbar, or you can go ahead and search whiteboard and select it for me. Um, you should see this screen or you will be prompted to log into your Microsoft account, which um, everybody should have one of those. So you can go ahead and select a whiteboard or you can create a new one. Using the pen tool found in the toolbar at the bottom of the screen, you can write on the whiteboard. Um, you will also use the pen that we have here with our Surface Studio. So if you just go ahead and select a color, you can write on the screen or if you want another color, there are plenty. So here I will write in green. Um, but also if you go ahead and press on a color, if you select one and hold down, you will get the option to make your marker thicker or to more advanced colors if you would like. So as you can see, my pen is now a different thickness. Um, but not only is there just pens, there is highlighter as well. So if you wanted to highlight something important, you can. And you can also change the thickness and color of the highlighter as well, just like with the pens. Now to erase what you have on here, you can just go ahead and flip your pen around and use that end of it and just erase like you would with a pencil. Or there is also a eraser tool in the toolbar if you want to just select that and erase or if you just press and hold down on the eraser an option that says clear canvas will appear if you just select that it will take everything away so I can show you that hi and then go ahead and select that and it will clear the canvas um, Another way to erase quickly would be selecting the lasso tool. So just choose that from the bottom of the screen and complete a full circle around what you want to erase. Make sure you close the lines and it will show that it is selecting what you want to erase. And if you go ahead and press the trash can, it will delete it. You also have the option to choose the plus sign from the toolbar and you can enter Word documents, PowerPoints, PDFs, different stickers, um, lists, and so much more. Um, the sticky note option is just is also just down there in the toolbar, so you can use the pen to write like it says, and it will interpret what you say and turn it into text, or you can go ahead and type. And then again, to delete it, just press and hold on the sticky note and click the trash can. Um, if you would for some reason want to undo or redo something that you've done on your screen, there is that option in the toolbar just with these arrows right here, undo and redo. Um, if you click this little picture, you will get an image menu. So you could click library image, Bing image, and camera if that is something that you're interested in. Um, another cool, really, another really cool option that you have is to use the ruler. So if you, for some reason, just really need a straight, a really need a straight line in your document in your presentation, you can do that. Or another cool way to use it is if you were going to make some sort of graph, so that you can just make it look very neat for your students and easier to understand. And then if you would plot your points on this graph, then you could go ahead and draw your line. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please contact us at ed-tech at onu.edu.